Hi, Richard Sawyer here. Today I'm going to show you how to mail merge, how to set up a mail merge document um, to use as a document template in SpinalLogic. You should have already seen the uh, overview on how to use mail merge in a separate video, so you have a general understanding of the concept. Uh, if you already feel you have that understanding of that concept, you can probably skip that video. But today I'm going to talk about the specifics of how to set up a document that ends up being a document template that you use in SpinalLogic that then you can obviously apply to, to any patient. So I'm going to specifically cover how to create the new document template, uh, how to link it to the merge data, uh, how to save that document template, and then, and then how to edit it later. So let's have a look at how to do it. I'm going to be using uh, Word 2010, and uh, in, the, in the notes un underneath the video, I'll put some explanation on how, to, uh, how you would change that if you're using a different version of Word. So we'll uh, open up our Word. And the kind of document we're going to make, we're going to call a patient record update. And the idea with this document is that you would give it to your patient periodically, like after they first start with you, and then you would repeat it maybe every six or 12 months to make sure that your um, records are for, your, for your patient are accurate. You'll see what I mean as we go. So let's call it a patient record update, and we'll um, make that uh, a title. And I personally think titles belong in the center of the page. I don't like them. On the left side of the page, you'll make it uh, nice and big so it's easy to read. And then we'll stick a, a table in here. And we're going to put in the uh, a table here that's uh, three wide. And we'll have like uh, something like our records show and corrections. And then in here, we want to put in the different fields. So the first field we might have is, say, the first name. And then we might have the patient's uh, last name. And then we might have their known as, the name that they go by, because as you know, that's not always the same. We might have their date of birth. And obviously, you'd have uh, their address, which comes in several different fields. Well, you could put it, actually, we'll put it all together. I'll show you what I mean by that, and that'll be, that'll be cool. So I'll just call that address. So in the records, now we need to link this document to the actual data in SpinalLogic, and currently it's not linked. So first we need to find out where that uh, data is. So we'll go into SpinalLogic, we'll go to Settings, Clinical, uh, Document Templates, and you can see down the bottom here where it says Merge Data Location, and there there is the the data location. That might change depending on your on how it installs in your in your system. So you just click on that. And that link has now been copied into, into the clipboard. So we can go back to Microsoft Word. And we want to go to Mailings. And we want to set up Select Recipients. So this is where we're going to, set, we're going to choose our, our list or our data source. And we're, of course, going to use an existing list. And we'll just Control-V and we'll just paste in that uh, link that we just got out of SpinalLogic. And we'll open that. And now if we go up to here where it says Insert Merge Field, you'll see there's a list of all the different merge fields that are available in SpinalLogic. And there's quite a few of them. The list continues down the bottom. And uh, you obviously you need to choose which ones you want to include in whichever document. So for this, our first one we want to have, of course, is their first name. So we we'll click on First Name. <clears throat> and you can see that the first name is showing in the little uh, tri double triangular brackets. And then we will insert their last name. And we'll insert their known as. And we want to put in their date of birth. And we want to put in their address. So here we can put in a couple of fields. So we've got address one. And then on a the second line, we would put on address two. Oh, where's address gone? There it is. And then on a separate line, we would put their suburb and then a space using the formatting that we use here in Australia, the state and their postcode. And if country were relevant, of course, you could add country as well. So that's um, as many as I'm going to put in, but you keep on adding as many as that you feel that you, you need to include, or for obviously a different document, then you would use different fields. Now, what is it that's actually in there? If we click on Preview Results up here, you'll see that uh, now Microsoft Word has merged in the data from that merge.txt file that we specified as a data source. Now what SpineLogic does is it maintains a sample piece of data in that merge file so that you can see, and it just picks out the first active, basically the first active patient from your alphabetical list. And so we can see that that comes up looking fine, doesn't it? First name Keegan, last name Anderson, known as Keegan, date of birth, um, and his address has come out looking pretty good, yeah? 
So what you would do is you would uh, ma- use this document to generate it in, in SpineLogic. You'd print it out, give it to your patient and say, look, if, if just have a look through this and if it's all right, that's great. If there's anything that's incorrect, then just please correct that over on the side. Now, personally, I'd probably want to make it look a little bit bigger so that you can fit stuff a bit better. So let's let's format this. Let's um, make that into heading two. And then we want to probably want to make these ones into black. I think it's probably better than the blue. Whatever you think it looks like, we'll change it to black. And I don't like the, all the table around there. I think that looks a little ugly. So we'll select that table and we'll get rid of all those borders. And then we'll select these cells here. And we just want to have a, uh, a border underneath each one of these cells. So we'll select here the... Uh, the inside border and we'll also select the bottom border where is that one da, da, bottom border okay so now we've just got a line where the where the um, patients can enter their information to correct anything that, that may be incorrect so that's how we make the document now we need to save it so let's just save it on the desktop and we'll call it the patient record update that's fine and we'll pop it on the desktop there and save. Now we need to actually put that into SpinalLogic. Now we've created our mail merge document, we've got to stick it in there. So we just go into SpinalLogic here and we'll just create a new category so you can see it clearly. And we'll put it here and we'll call that category our demo category. And we'll go over here, we want to add this file in, so we click the plus and we'll go to our desktop and we should find our patient record update file in here there it is so we just double click and now that is imported into spinal logic uh, I didn't check to delete original after import which I probably should have done because now there's an original sitting on your desktop as well as this one here in spinal logic from now on if you're going to edit it the one you, the version you would edit of course is is this one because this is the one that's now in spinal logic it's very easy you would do, you would just select that item and then you would click the edit button here to edit it and uh, that's essentially it. It's a pretty simple process. Um, we have a whole bunch of document templates available for you. You can download from the forum. Um, if you want to create your own, now you know how to go about doing it. Have fun with that. And if there's anything that you think, uh, if you found that useful, then make a note in the post below. If you think there's something that I've missed that maybe could be useful for other people to better understand this video, then feel free to add that in in the post in a post below as well.